Hey, this is John O Studio today, back for another tournament video. As you can see, the walls of my room have been painted. I'm get, it's getting close for me to move out and into my new setup. But until then, I bought a six lane and I had a pretty cool track idea. So you can see, we're gonna include the fat track that I got recently. Go around one corner, go around another straight, the other corner, and then down to the end. We have a lot of cars here ready to face us off. As you can see, there are groups of nine. Each of the victors will face in this group, so we'll have one victor per group of nine, but we will do each group one after another. So we'll do, for example, the first three, the second three, third three. We have a lot of matchups we gotta get through. This is gonna be a sweet tournament. I'm not filming in slow-mo, because I've learned my lesson, guys. And let's just take a look at some of these cards. Start out this tournament with a BMW M4, Pontiac with no hood, and a Volkswagen Golf. Three, two, one. It's gonna be the Pontiac holding it through the corners and taking the win. The rule I should mention is if they stay on the corner and don't make it to the last straightaway, then they will have to re-race in separate lanes. Let's look at our matchup. Here we go, we've got a Nissan GTR, Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo, and a Plymouth. Three, two, one. It's gonna be the Plymouth with a great race, beating out the Lamborghini. Our next matchup, we've got a Porsche, a Ford, and then the Ford's racing buddy, the GTLM. Three, two, one. And it's gonna be the Porsche passing the Fiesta. What a run. As you can see, we have our first matchup for the second round. Let's get more cars into the second round. We have the Volks, uh, I mean Honda Civic Type R. We've got the Ford Shelby GT350R and the Bugatti Huayra. Three, two, one. Look at that, it's an awful wreck by the Civic and it leaves the Shelby to win. That was awesome. Our next matchup we have a Scion, a BMW, and a Dodge. Three, two, one. And it's gonna be the BMW not even making it. We're gonna have to re race. Lanes have been swapped. Three, two, one. And it's gonna be another crash. This time the Dodge takes it. We'll do one more match, and whoever wins this one or whoever's the farthest will move on. They're in their lanes. Three, two, one. It's going to be the Dodge moving on. We have two amazing rivals. We have the LaFerrari and the McLaren P1 versus a JDM car, Toyota Supra. Three, two, one. Look at that. The Ferrari lands on the curve. They're going to have to re-race. Got their new lanes. Three, two, one. It is going to be the LaFerrari triumphing and taking the win. In our next matchup, we have Volkswagen, Nissan, and Lamborghini. Three, two, one. It's going to be Lamborghini with the easy win. We've got a Dodge Viper, a Lamborghini Centenario, and a Ford Mustang. Three, two, one. It's going to be no finish. The Lamborghini lands on the corner, we're going to have to switch lanes. Okay, since the Lamborghini cannot fit in the middle lane, they will not be able to switch lanes into a different lane after this race, so this race will determine it. Three, two, one. 
And it's gonna be the Dodge Viper running away. It's got Mercedes versus Lamborghini versus Maserati. Three, two, one. Look at that, Mercedes tries to get to inside lane and the Maserati will block him, taking the win. We've got Aston Martin, DeLorean, and Acura. DeLorean is notoriously fast on this track. Let's see how they do. Three, two, one. DeLorean is gonna run away with it. What a fast lap. We've got three very good looking cars. We've got a Mustang, a Ford GTX, and a Lamborghini. Three, two, one. It's gonna be a carnage, but the Ford GTX takes the win. We've got three very fast cars on this course. We have a Ferrari 458 Italia, faster than ever in silver. We have a Corvette in red, and a 2018 Camaro in orange. Three, two, one. It's going to be the Corvette with a really good race. These matchups are looking really good right now. I would look out for the Maserati and the Aventador race to be really good. And the DeLorean versus the Corvette. Those are cars you should really look out for. And the Porsche. We've got another Tomica car like the Centenario. We have a BMW i8 versus a Lancia Stratos. And a Camaro Convertible. The Camaro Convertibles are really fast. Three, two, one. The Camaro spins out, but he still manages to get onto the track, winning the race. Some really good looking cars in this matchup. We have a Corvette, a Ford, and a Mazda. Three, two, one. And it's going to be the Corvette taking the win. But who will go up against the convertibles? Will it be the Ferrari 599XX, the Ford GT, or the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento? Three, two, one. It's gonna be close to 4G2 tries to sneak past him, but he does not make it. We're gonna to have to switch lanes. We've got another situation like the Centenario where the 4G D cannot be in the middle lane, so this will be the deciding race. Three, two, one. And it's gonna be the Ferrari taking the win. Next up, we have three very different cars. We have a Fiat, a Viper, and then a Lamborghini Sesto Elemento. Let's see who will take it. Three, two, one. It looks like it's going to be the Sesto with the Viper putting up a good fight. Here we go, we've got a second to last race. I would keep my eye out for this Lotus, because when I did this turn before filming, it came out as victorious, but that can all change in one race. Three, two, one. The Lotus proves it still has speed, clocks a very fast time, competing with the DeLorean. With our final matchup for the first round, we have a Volkswagen, a Nissan, and a Porsche. And this Porsche proves to be very fast. Three, two, one. It does not look like he will make it. The Porsche sneaks to the win. Here we go, you have your winners. There will be six more winners after this round. That will go down to two, and then we will see who will move on. This is gonna get intense. We've got our first three winners. Pontiac, winner of race one, in race one. Plymouth, winner of race two, in lane two, then we have the Porsche winner of race three in lane three. That was a tongue twister. Three, two, one. And it's gonna be the Plymouth, despite all odds, taking the win with a fast lap. Here we go, we have winners of races four, five, and six, ready to take on the track. Three, two, one. It's gonna be the LaFerrari with a dominating performance, but it gets passed up by the Dodge with a great race. We've got our third matchup. We have the Aventador, the Viper, and the Maserati. Look out for the Aventador and Maserati to be battling it out hard. Three, two, one. It's a good race, but the Maserati is gonna take the win. And don't forget the Viper, it put up a good fight. We have our first semifinals matchup. Who will be our second semifinals matchup? We're about to find out. We've got our fastest cars in this series of not three races. Let's get on with it. By the way, comment down below what car is your favorite out of the bunch and which one you'd like to see win. But for now, we've got our fastest cars, the GTX, the Corvette, and the DeLorean. Three, two, one. And it's gonna be the DeLorean sneaking by. What a dirty race. We will go head to head with the DeLorean. Will it be a Camaro? Will it be a Corvette? Or will Ferrari triumph? Three, two, one. 
It's going to be, it's going to be the Camaro. The Corvette steers it at the end. What a ridiculous race. We've got a fast bunch of cars here. We know how fast the Lotus can be, but its competitors are not cars to be put in the dust. Three, two, one. But the Lotus is going to spin out just like the Corvette did, allowing the Sesto Elemento to win. We've got our cars. Only two cars will advance to the finals for the shootout. For the shootout, it'll be the first one to three wins, but we have to figure out who those cars will be. Let's start. Two of these three amazing cars are about to be sent home. Who will it be, and who will move on to the finals? Three, two, one. It's gonna be the Maserati with an easy win, almost steers it out, but manages to hold on. We've got two golden cars versus an elite hypercar with a Sesto Elemento. We'll go on to the finals to face the Maserati. Three, two, one. It's gonna be the DeLorean. Well, it's not. It's gonna be the Camaro, just barely beating out the DeLorean. What a crazy race. I was not expecting that finish. We have some of the most intense races I've ever seen on this track play out, but now we have two cars about to battle head to head. We have the convertible Camaro versus the Maserati. First one to three wins will be our winner. We will cycle lanes every time. Let's start. The cars will just cycle lanes. So the next race, Maserati will be in lane three and the Camaro will be in lane one. Anyway, let's start. Three, two, one. It's gonna be the Maserati taking race one. Now with the Maserati in lane three, it's gonna be harder for him to have the fastest trout on the corner, but will he pull it off and get a second win? Three, two, one. He will be with a flawless win for the Maserati. He only needs one more. The Camaro might have the edge on the Maserati this time. Let's see. Three, two, one. The Camaro does not. The Maserati is going to sweep it three to zero, taking the win. You guys have it. Your champion, the Maserati MC12. What a beautiful car. Thank you for all of you for coming out to watch this race. I love every single one of you for watching this far. Hope you enjoyed this tournament. I sure love filming it. If you want to see this track again with even different cars and maybe some teams, make sure to like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next tournament. Take it easy. Peace.